Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we were kicking the butts of the Sutherian Entity. Pretty sound like, might I add. Uh, we have just a little bit of shenanigans we'll have to deal with, but that will be after the main fleet gets done doing their damage this way. It won't be too much longer, luckily. So, could be far worse. Huh. Sutherian Entity is still trying to take back their home system. Even when, you know, it's not going to work. It's very interesting. Alright, and they're done here, which means we make them do that. And then we move to Rint Beacon after that. Cool. That'll work. All right. Continue on. Station reports enemy contact. 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 I get it, game. Jesus. Okay. Um. But the Sutherian entity ain't gonna survive for Science long. Science division reports a new cool. breakthrough. There we go. Whoa. Wait, what? One of their bigger fleets right after I leave? Dang, okay, well. If that's the case. Well, I need to help them. Okay, both of these are done. That's good. Galactic Campaigns is finished. Fantastic. Um, local hypercommunication is good. But targeted gene expressions is the best for what we're intending on going for later. Stricter control of RNA and protein production on the cellular level. Allows us one more gene modification point. Can't complain about that. Stormfire cannons is also now completed. So we move on to... Gauss cannons. Which allows us to go further in that category. This updated version of the old coil gun design is even more destructive than the latest railgun designs. It is capable of launching projectiles with incredible accuracy and speed. Well, why would I turn that down then? Alright, and we're heading in on both sides and destroyed. Alright, and it's done. Hells to the yeah. Alright, so. Fleet-wise, where should I send you? Um, I don't think there's much else to do when it comes to the fighting. Heading over this way, I guess? And then... Kind of working our way around to finish off these, I guess. It's really the only option I can see. Yeah, okay. Have them work on this. This path in particular won't be too hard. Plus, you'll have another one coming in in the meantime. And... It won't let me upgrade them. What the hell? Okay. That's weird. Predictive algorithms is now done. Good. And... Let's move on to plasma cannons. Eh, wait. Gamma lasers. There we go. The electromagnetic radiation emitted by gamma lasers is of an extremely high frequency. Their destructive potential is unmatched in the field of laser weapons. Might as well. Alright. And we'll keep this fleet here just to make it easier. Okay. And the other fleet is just moving around. Could we actually upgrade them? No? Okay. We'll just do another. Okay, one of those. Um, they're done here. Perfect. 
Then they will move to there to research that project. Move to there to research that project. Whoops. Actually, did that in the wrong way. There. Then there. And then do all of these. And then that. And then we're done. Then we will have done all the jobs necessary. The Quell Nudar Archivists. Oh. They have decided we are too much of a problem, I guess. I don't know. I don't care. Zero point power is getting progress made on it. Oh. That's good. That's good. I'm okay with that. Uh, Biham 2 has been trans uh, rather terraformed into a continental world. Beautiful. And it is good. Good for me. And good for everyone else. Colonize time. Especially since that has a dust desert, which I cannot complain about. Um, Aurora. Sure. Cool. I like that. Let's go with it. All right. The Imperial. Yeah, that'll work. Uh oh. Oh, I had not been paying attention to that. Time to sell all those extras that I don't need. And buy some alloys that I do need. There we go. Beautiful. That's great. That's done. Good. Cool. The advisor isn't really saying much anymore, is she? That's weird. Um, not sure why she's not saying anything anymore. But oh well. Not much I can do about that now, is there? Um, hmm. After I get Rent Beacon done, make one there. Cool. Through hard work and experience, scientist Charlotte Kellerman has developed the industry trait. Cool. Cool. Tachyon sensors as well. Oh. They're getting a lot of technology done. Uh-oh. Empress Catalina has died at the age of 117. All hail the Empress. And it is now taken over by her daughter, Empress Anastasia the First, with a frontier spirit and logistic understanding. Colony build ship cost. Well, that's wonderful timing. Uh, and the ship upkeep and army upkeep. Cool. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she wants. Oh boy, I have a lot of debris to fucking <laughs> sort through. Uh. Ah, damn it. I swore this early in the episode. That's ah, fine. It's fine. Reggie, don't give me shit. It's late enough in the episode. Yes, it is. It's fine. Fine. It's all fine. Quit complaining. All right. Okay. Crown Prince Enrico. <laughs> Crown Prince Enrico. Okay. Five-year plans. The governors of our world should be given the freedom necessary to propose and enact sweeping reforms for the betterment of all. Agri-world generator and mining planetary designations gain additional bonuses. Basic subsistence living standard banned. Interesting. I am all for that. Let's do it. Hells yes. All right. Uh oh. Envoy Danielle Ravelli died at the age of 114. It's been an honor. All right. Well, we could give them the status quo one, but I personally want to achieve my war goals. And we're going to go for that. All right. Research done. Targeted gene expressions is completed. Beautiful. Um, 
Let's go after... Hmm. Hostile Environment Adaptation. I like that. Further study into the hazardous environments found on other planets help alleviate the difficulties that colonizers encounter in their day-to-day -day lives on foreign worlds. Well, that's helpful. Who could say no to that? All right. And we are just outright kicking their behinds. And then after this... Ah, there's where their main fleet is. The Destroyer 7th Fleet. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Well, they'll soon meet up with them, that's for sure. Oh, Gauss Cannons is completed. Nice. Uh, then... Now I can do kinetic artillery? Alright. I'm okay with that. I am very okay with that. Um, but personally, I think we should finish up living metal. Mining and processing the rare living metals is exceedingly difficult, but successful application of the mutable alloys yields incomparable advantages. The inherent properties of living metal make it perfect for improving megastructure construction. All right. And it's the cheapest by far now. So let's do it. I don't see why not. All right, let's get you upgraded since you're sitting at Straya right now. All right. Okay. We're almost done. We are almost done. There's almost nothing that can stand in our way right now. There's almost nothing. And you know what? I think the only thing that's going to stand in our way is dealing with that fleet. And we're going to deal with it one way or another. Oh, we're not allowed in there. Oh, that sucks. Okay, that makes it difficult. But, it won't be that much difficult if we're bombing the hell out of their home planet. Which is also an option. An option I'm okay with. Okay. Let's do this. And do this. And we are just destroying. We are just destroying them. Alright, we had finished the gamma lasers and the hostile environment adaptation one. Cool. Alright, in that case, what is the next thing we do? Uh huh. -huh. Well, we're already doing significant progress into zero point power and tachyon sensors but we could almost get that finished just by my ship alone <laughs> just by my science ship alone doing all of that so let's go with ion disruptors finish that up and have Stephen Marsh do Ecological adaptation? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Cool. We're going to do some massive amounts of work right now. Zero point power is now completed due to the science ship traveling around and researching it for us so now i don't have to worry about nothing oh and it also did work in completing plasma cannons phase disruptors and tachyon sensors oh man oh man oh man how could i refuse such a bounty all right 
There we go. Get them started. That's not what I wanted. But it's fine. No worries there. Actually, you know what? You know what? We're doing so well. We're doing so well with the Polissima Syndicate. Oh, there they are. That, at this point... Oh, we're at excellent relations! Beautiful! I love seeing that. In that case... Time to open our borders to you. And now they do the same for us. Beautiful. Ooh, the jump drive. We're learning about the jump drive now. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. Um, where is their one fleet? Or did that get destroyed? It might have gotten destroyed. <laughs> it might have gotten destroyed, that one fleet of Sutherian entities. It might have. Actually, I'm not seeing it anywhere on the map. It probably got destroyed. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's beautiful. I love seeing that. I love seeing it. The Sutherian entity is unanimous. Ha 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 ha! Win a war against another empire. Another achievement. Under our belt. Hell yeah. And another game pass thing. <laughs> The Sutherian entity is unanimous. We must concede. Your effort to limit our growth has proven successful for the time being. The best possible outcome. And the Young Alliance is back in full strength. <laughs> you are welcome, my friends. You are most welcome. Ha. <sighs> I love the smell. It smells like victory. <laughs> all right, time to head back and do all of the upgrades ne necessary for our ships. The Cetherian entity is humiliated, reducing their empire influence gain and pop happiness for 10 years, and we gain a hundred influence. Plus, the Yeon Alliance gets all of their systems back that they lost during the previous wars. I call that a win. And the Polissima Syndicate is next on that list. They're going to win too, since we so thoroughly routed them. You're welcome, Polissimus. You are most welcome. All right. And it's time for them to upgrade to... Technology is done. Ion Disruptors is finished. Fantastic. Um, neutron launchers, plasma cannons. Mm, well, there's these are some good options right now. These are some very good options. Not going to lie. Let's work on the phase disruptors, which is the next upgrade to what we just currently got done. Extremely high-yield disruptors that fire quantum energy charges causing incredible damage to those unfortunate enough to get in their way. Absolutely going to do that. Absolutely. All right. Doing good work. Let's see. And they're still going. They're still going after all of that. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's great. I love it. I love it. Okay. More debris finished. And there's so much debris left to scan. I don't think my ship will be able to do it in time. <laughs> there's just so much left to do. The Polysimus Syndicate has made peace with the Sutherian Entity. And they got their territory back. Fine by me. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Finish there. Then you start doing that. And I have you work on this next. Perfect. All right. Okay. More done with the jump drive and tachyon sensors. Good. 
I don't think my science ship will have enough time <laughs> to finish all of that. I don't think they will. Ecological adaptation is now completed. By adapting planetary ecosystems to large-scale environmental changes, we can turn terraformation into a less disruptive process. Well, how could I say no to that? Terraforming and also leaving the ecological shenanigans intact? Sure. Why not? Okay, cyto-revitalization. As our empire grows, so does our understanding of our own biology. Advanced medical treatments on a cellular level have allowed for significant advancements in population health. Hells yeah. And living metal's almost done. Living metal's almost done. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's almost done. Okay. And they're done. Living metal is completed. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I love it. Okay, another Elgate Insight for 17,000. That's fine. That's fine. Any way I can get further along that is fine by me. And it would be the last one, too. It would be the last one we need about the Elk Cluster. All right, beautiful. It's only a couple hundred days left in a lot of them. But it's worth it. But it's worth it. All right. Oh, it's so worth it. It is so worth it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. They have another thing other than the five-year plans that have popped up. Minor administrative sanctions from the Yeon Alliance. Well, <laughs> it's... It's our buddies. Why would I not say that? All right. Okay. Cool. Um, resolutions. Uh, I don't know if I want to propose any myself. Because most of these are pretty good. Most of these are very good, in fact. There's no reason to worry about that. All right. Gonna get their stuff done at Nusicon, which is just fine by me. I already have way too many of those, so let's deal with that and deal with that. Perfect. And... Yeah, that'll work. That'll work out beautifully. Okay. Camelot. Cool. Let's make the Mega Forge here. And let's do civilian industries there. Cool. Good enough. And with that, whoop. I meant to also expand in that direction, in that direction, in that direction. Cool. Awesome. And we'll build that into an administrative park. I think that's what the name of it is. Doesn't matter anyway. Okay, we are almost done researching everything that's there. Seoul is done, but we can finish in Suthkasa. Tachyon Sensors is now completed with that. Ha ha ha! Beautiful. We don't have to worry about any of that. Alright, and Jump Drive is almost done too. And Plasma Cannons, actually. Uh, think about it. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, phase disruptors is completed. Beautiful, I love it. Dark matter drawing. Well, why would I not? This exec this exotic <laughs> substance has many properties that seemingly defy the laws of physics. Harvestable concentrations can only be found near black holes or in certain nebulas. Cool. Let's do it. Alright. Okay. Well, we got the Racket Industrial Enterprise again. A leader. A leader. An excellent fit for the Empire of Felony. A governor of superb logistics. Very clever. Thinks ahead. Likes long walks on the beach. Give us 200 food and the leader is yours. 
Well, I mean, I don't see why not. Another governor won't be terrible. They can accept that deal. A pleasure, a joy to deal with the Empire felony. We will visit again. Well, as long as you're willing to visit again, then we're doing good. Hey, silo revitalization is completed. Beautiful. And what should we do now? The collective self is pretty nice. Finding aspects of the self within the group is natural and inevitable. Eventually, those shared aspects must be valued higher than the individual identities. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do it. Let us do it. Ooh, another tradition we can do. Um, let's go with prosperity. There is no better indicator of the success or failure of a star nation than the strength of its economy. I disagree, but okay. Well, let's move on and get that adoption effect going, which is the mining station output increased by 10%, which is always very nice. And the mega cannon. One of those motherfuckers had a mega cannon. Nice. All right, education campaign and recycling campaign is over, which means we put those back on the list. And what else do we do after that? Um, I still haven't decided on what I want to do with the second edict I'm allowed. Mm. Nutritional plentitude, maybe? I don't know. It would allow the population growth speed to increase quite a bit. It would just also mean that the uh, population food upkeep also goes up quite a bit. And the sprawl from populations also goes up quite a bit. <sighs> Let's do it. Let us do it. Okay. And with that done and said, ooh, Empress Anastasia has developed the eye for talent trait. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, that makes sense, considering that I used basically all of my uh, influence buying that edict, so it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um... Mm-hmm. Let's have the Marath station here become a starport. I like that idea. I like it. And we'll move this to the nearest starport, which is Suzuetov again. Okay, and the colony Aurora has now been finished. Perfect. Let's make it a sector and have Tabu, daughter of Vin, take over. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Intellectual psychic, and waste management specialist. This leader has an almost uncanny ability to reduce to reduce and repurpose industrial waste. How do they do it? It's best not to ask. Fair enough. Unity from jobs and stability is up because they're psychic. That's even better. Cool. All right. Well, I don't see why not. Oh. How about that? Our starbase in the Wanambis system reports that the Racket Industrial Fleet has evacuated and abandoned a decrepit ship, now in unstable orbit around the system's central star. Well, one man's trash. 
Okay, and that needs a construction ship, which is just fine because I have one just sitting here doing nothing. Gotta love that. Okay. And... Okay, they are done with that. Perfect. And that brings us to plasma cannons, jump drive being up, physics research is being up, and engineering research being up. Perfect. Well, with that done, I think it's time to bring them back to... Ah, Monombus. But, um... Yeah, move here. And then technically do that. Okay. Alright. Strike for Scylla. They're all full up, right? Yeah. 15. 13. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll just wait until they're all done with the upgrades. And then evaluate. But... I think... Strike for Scylla will become our third Imperial Fleet. I think. That might be what we do. Oh boy! Food is going down significantly faster than I thought it would. Yeesh. Shiza. Um, in that case, no reason to make another mining district. Might as well just make another agricultural district, and then another city district, and then we're all good. Okay. Just gotta wait for them to get finished, and hey! We have voted on and passed the resolution five-year plans. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fine by me. Hey, and this fleet is done. Technically. Alright, gotta upgrade again. Because <laughs> of course they do. The Marath Starbase has now finished its construction. Good. Um, let's make the Marath Station, which was over here. I had to double check what Sezuatov is real quick before I make my decision. They are a trade hub. Okay, cool. Then they'll be able to reach that, no problem. No worries, then. Then Marath shall become an anchorage. Yeah. I like that. And then a crew quarters here. Cool. And we'll just wait until I have enough alloys to do more upgrades to it. I'm not going to sell extra food because I'll need that until my upkeep starts to level out. Um, hmm. With that in mind, I don't know when that'll happen. <laughs> so, uh, we'll have to wait a little bit. Alright. Search abandoned caravaneer ship. Will almost be done soon. Okay, the Spuxalak Star Nation uh, has another migration treaty. Sorry. Not quite there yet with y'all. He phrase yet. Um, hmm. Ketling Star Pack is doing good. They're doing good with everyone except the Sutherian Entity, Sacrosanct Thymoid Conclave. And I think that's it. Oh, the Commonwealth of Man. But yeah, that's about the worst of it. That's fine. That's fine by me. How does Thutherian Entity still an equal rival? The fleet power has been completely decimated, thanks to mainly me, but also the Polysimus Syndicate. 
So, how are they still considered an equivalent opponent? I don't know. Hey, hey. Well, didn't get anything out anything special, but likely due to the vessel being civilian transport, the shipboard databases were not fully scrubbed, so while nothing else of value was found, uh, recovered partial references to unknown alien technologies. But nothing specific. It's just extra engineering research. Which I guess is fine. I guess it's fine. Okay. We have now gathered sufficient Elgate insights to research the technology behind them. Once this has been done, one of our science ships should be able to abort the perpetual maintenance cycle they are stuck in. The L cluster is almost within our reach. This is where the fun begins. Because there could be anything going on in the L cluster. And I mean anything. Kind of excited, aren't you? I am. All right. So we'll move on to the Mega Cannon, which an enormous mass accelerator cannon that can only be placed in a spinal mount and fires monstrously powerful rounds over vast distances. Well, in that case. Okay. You're done here? Cool. Uh, in that case... Well, now I have enough influence. You shall do this. Booyah. Works out beautifully. And Dark Matter Drawing is now finished. Nice. So, what do I do? What do I do with the drunken sailor? What do I... Um... Technically, this is the cheapest... Actually, no, technically, this is the cheapest. So, let's go with that. Cool. 11 months. Jeez. That's quick. Um, actually, you know what? Since I have Dark Matter Drawing available, as well as Living Metal, might as well start running around getting those resources nailed down. Especially since now I can draw them. Alright, um... Oh, didn't know that was never done. Well, I'll make you do that, and then go back. Well, shit. Actually, you know what? Do all of that, and then do pull cores, and then go back. There you go. Perfect. And Nambus... After it's done with all of those. Then can do Sidar, I guess. There you go. And is there any on this side that it, this one can do? Of the dark matter drawing type or otherwise. Nope. Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, it was worth a shot. Uh, really, it's just doing these unclaimed systems, which I can do at any time. So, I guess we'll call it good for now. Um, Planet Dawnlight now has an open spot. Good. And might as well do another exotic gas refinery. For Acropolis, let's do... food processing facility and then build all of the agricultural districts we can and then we'll get all these done I don't see why not okay second imperial strike force is nearly done Whoop -a okay I did not I did not expect that <laughs> to come up. Oh, Phalens, the last hall. You would not believe it. Crates and crates overflowing with munitions. Cubic tons of it. Come, please, look. Okay. Oh, orbital trash dispersal. Huh. 
We have a we have a special offer. Inimitable technology, only developed by the Racket Industrial Enterprise. Do you have trouble penetrating the defensive grids of planets? We can show you a way, very advanced, very technical, of course, of improved bombardment. We call it the Orbital Trash Disperser. Give us a thousand energy credits, then we will show you the method, and you will have a component to add to your ships. Sure, I want to see what it's about. Why not? A pleasure, a joy to deal with the Empire, Felony. We will visit again. Uh, orbital Trash Dispersal. It's a component that can be added in the A slot. Okay. This orbital bombardment management system spams a planet with millions of minute, high-velocity projectiles, overwhelming planet-side defensive grids with trash data. And actual trash, I'm assuming. Uh, ships equipped with this component will cause more damage during orbital bombardment. More damage, you say? Hmm. Interesting. Well, can't really complain about that, now can I? The collective self is also completed. There we go. The last thing we needed for that ascension perk. Through glandular biological tailoring, we can change the environmental tolerance of a species to suit our needs. It also allows us to change the preferred planet type of a species through genetic modification. Which is awesome. Okay, now the Imperial Strike Force is done with getting all of that taken care of. Which means I can send them back to their home port. Oh, the second Imperial Strike Force is also done. Well, I mean, not all the way done. Still has another wave of updates left to do. But, it's not terrible to have to wait for that. And, yeah, I figured. So, Strike Force Scylla will now become our third Imperial Strike Force. Okay. There we go. Imper there we go. Perfect. Perfection. Now we add ships to the fleet and change the fleet stance. Uh, we can't add Corvettes, can we? Can't add the Federation stuff. Yeah, because we can't. Yeah, no, we can't do that. No, that'd be silly. Uh, add the Lynx class. There we go. Zoff Wreck. Huh. Interesting. Um, I guess those were the ones made after. Uh, huh. Interesting. Okay. Um, oh, we can add the battleship now. I should do that. I should do that. Um, let's up this to the same standards as the rest of the fleets. 20. 15. 10. And none of those yet. So. I probably actually should take that off. But it's fine. It's fine. Might as well add this to all the fleet designs as well. Let's add one battleship and we'll deal with making them work later. Cool. And this one will get finished, or it's actually finished. I'll be damned. Okay. Then return them to the EM station and await further instructions. All right. The Marath Starbase has now completed. Good. And we now have enough alloys to upgrade it further. Fantastic. 
And... Don't want to sell these quite yet. Just wait until I get more of them. Plasma cannons is now completed. Beautiful. The latest in plasma weaponry. These cannons are fully militarized versions of the older, somewhat improvised plasma throwers. Their plasma projectiles are even deadlier. Well, that means another update wave for the rest of the fleet. Ah, oh, boy. Alright, um... Activate the L-Gate. Oh, boy. This is where the fun begins. The L-Gates defy our current understanding of subspace mechanics. This must be remedied before they can be opened for travel. Researching this technology will unlock a special project to activate an L-Gate if there are any located within our own space. And there is. There is the one. There is the one right in Miklor's vortex here. But that said... Um... I'm not quite ready to turn it on. Not quite. Because there's a lot that goes into that. A lot. Especially if I want to plan ahead and make sure nothing terrible goes horribly, horribly wrong. But that'll be for another time. It'll definitely be for another time, that's for sure. Okay, the Senate floor is in session on minor administrative sanctions. All right. We're doing it! Uh-oh. A lot of places are just going to abstaining. Rather than being vocal opponent, opponents, rather, they're just going to be like, Oh, I, no comment. Okay. Well, if that's the case, that should be fine. Oh, wait. No updates. None? At all? Interesting. Okay. Let's swap out the gamma laser with the plasma cannon. And swap out the gauss cannon with the stormfire auto cannon. Because, actually, you know what? Scratch that last bit. Ah, oh, well, it does more damage to the hull. Yeah, sure. This does armor and hull damage. This does shield and hull damage. Yeah, okay. That should be fine. Oh, I never updated this with the crystal infused plating. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm very dumb. I'm beyond dumb. I'm the dumbest dumb to ever dumb. Okay. There we go. Okay. And with these... Yeah. Plasma cannon's probably a better... Yeah, better. Do stormfire auto cannons. There we go. And then... Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's go with Phase Disruptor, because this will be part of the... Actually, put it in the line. There we go. So this would be just the perfect range for that. Yeah. Works out beautifully. Yes, it's perfectly fine. want to make sure that... Oh, these are, these are set for Swarm? Why are they set for Swarm? I want them to pick it. Crazy. Absolutely not going to do it that way. Why would I do it that way? The artillery, yep, they're set for that. Which is exactly what I want them to be. Um, these things, however, need to change. Um, plasma cannon... It does reach the distance I want it to reach. Alright, yeah, let's go with it. And... Make the kinetic battery the large one here. Actually, you know what? Let's 
do it this way. The medium ones be that. Have the long range ones be that. So they're pummeling the shields first. And then when they get closer, then the medium plasma cannons can take them out. Finish them off. Cool. I like that. Yes, we will save that. Absolutely. Uh... I just realized that I still didn't do the crystal infused plating on these ones. No wonder they've been dying so quickly. Ah, oh boy. All right. Um, yeah, artillery. That's what I wanted. Is everything else set for the right thing? Not these. I wanted tachyon sensors. Oh, I forgot to put auto upgrade. No wonder. I'm an idiot. Idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. Um, yeah, that's good. And then Guardian Point Defense and Black Cannons. Improved is still fine. Proton Launchers is still fine. Those are still fine. And this has to go to Plasma Cannon. These are still advanced shields. They're still Durasteel. Okay, cool. All right. Had to make sure. Since I forgot to do the auto upgrade thing, it's fine. Um, these are fine. Yeah. No, this is fine. Okay, cool. All right. Now all the upgrades I had to do that I've forgotten about are now done. And now to update all the fleets again. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Um cool. One more time with the shenanigans. Okay. And I'll let them finish that. Um Reports from our colony on Aurora claims that there has been an increase in feral behavior. Apparently, parts of the population has expressed hitherto unprecedented levels of lust and aggression, and no one knows why. Loud minority modifier, given the following effects. Crime, higher, happiness, lower, but population growth speed, significantly higher. Wow, okay. Makes sense. Okay! Don't know what's going on with Aurora's planet, but, uh... Stay horny. Stay horny and crazy. Uh-oh. So, um, I'm going to... I guess I'll end the episode here for right now. We are way over time. Holy shit. So, uh, yes, we'll end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. Blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to get the... Whoa. Trying to get these groups updated as quickly as possible. These fleets while also wondering what the hell is going on on Aurora. The feral behavior on Aurora shows no sign of stopping anytime soon. In fact, it has risen since the last report. Promiscuous and violent acts happen all the time, and a large part of the population seems to be affected. Yeah, it's getting out of hand. Uh, we'll deal with that next episode. Uh, hopefully, it will be easily rectified. Otherwise, Aurora's in trouble. Ugh. They're too horny and too crazy. I'll have to deal with that for you. <laughs>